Elle and her group of close friends decided to have a pizza party. In her friend group, there are 10 people including Elle. Six of them are women and four of them are men. So that means that if we were to pick one friend at random, there's a 60% probability that the friend is a woman and a 40% probability that the friend is a man. Some of Elle's friends like pepperoni on their pizza and others don't like pepperoni on their pizza. Overall, there are seven people who like pepperoni and three people who do not like pepperoni. In other words, seven out of 10 people or 70% of the friends like pepperoni which means that if we were to randomly pick one of the friends and ask them if they like pepperoni, there is a 70% probability that this person says yes and a 30% probability that this person says no. In this example, there are two random variables. The first random variable is whether a friend is a man or a woman and the second random variable is pepperoni preference. Let's call the first random variable x and the second random variable y. If we were to plot the probability distributions of these random variables separately for x and y, we can observe each probability distribution individually. These separate probability distributions are called marginal probability distributions. So this is the marginal probability of x and this is the marginal probability of y. So marginal probability is where we observe the probability distribution of a random variable individually. We can also ask ourselves, if we were to choose a friend at random from this population, what is the probability that the friend is both a woman and enjoys pepperoni on pizza? Recall that in L's friend group, there are seven friends who prefer pepperoni, and five of them are women and two of them are men. This means there are 5 out of 10 friends who are both women and prefer pepperoni. In other words, 50% of the friends are women and prefer pepperoni. So if we were to pick someone at random and ask, what is the probability that this person is both a woman and prefers pepperoni? That probability is 50%. We call this type of probability joint probability. Joint probability is where we want to find out the probability of two or more events occurring at the same time. The statistical notation for joint probability is P of X comma Y, where X represents an event and Y represents another event. We can think of an event as a possible outcome of a random variable. Now, if we were to choose someone at random only from the group of women and we want to know the probability that she enjoys pepperoni on pizza, to answer this, we'll only look at the women in this group. Here, there are six women and five out of six or 83% of women enjoy pepperoni on pizza. So this means that 83% of women prefer pepperoni. This is called conditional probability. Conditional probability is where we want to find out the probability of one event while conditioning on another event. So in this case, we found out the probability of pepperoni preference given the condition that this person is a woman. Conditional probability is written as P of X given Y, where this represents conditional. Let's recap what we learned in this video. Marginal probability is where we observe the probability distribution of a single random variable. Joint probability is where we want to find out the probability of two or more events happening at the same time. And conditional probability is where we want to find out the probability of one event occurring while giving a condition on another event. In different settings, we use different types of probabilities to describe our data. This concludes our video, stay tuned for more on this series, don't forget to like and subscribe.